Hi guys, I'm back. It's Wednesday. Hump day Wednesday. And I'm not going to tell y'all nothing else. So guys, um, we're in the thick of this coronavirus epidemic. Well, pandemic. And um, we've got new news on some new people that we know that the world knows who've contracted this virus. So there are four more um, professional basketball players who have it from the Nets. And one of them is indeed Kevin Durant. Now, oddly enough, Durant is having the same symptoms as um, Donovan Mitchell, which is they have no symptoms. So that's the ironic thing about this particular virus. We're learning still about it, but what we do know for sure is that certain people can have the virus but not show any symptoms of having the virus. However, they can still spread it. And that is where the danger lies because we don't know how it's going to affect each person. So it's hard to um, gauge, you know, who has it and if they've passed it on. So I think that's really why the quarantine is, is so important. And um, so we're in the thick, well, not even in the thick of it. We're really in the beginning stages of it. I think it's going to get stricter with the uh, quarantine, especially after seeing the... Um, I spoke about this in the last video, especially after seeing the idiots in freaking Florida at the beach. Like, I don't want to wish ill on anyone, but looking at that just made me cringe. And I wanted to put my hand around each and every one of those people who were at the beach. I just wanted to strangle them. I wanted to put my hands around their throats and squeeze really, really hard. Like, what fool... I just can't I just uh, I will not I will not even go there again because I've already been there but I just don't like young people sometimes you know a young fool is one thing but then there was some old fools down there at that beach anyway so yeah the coronavirus is moving around and it's kind of moving around silently meaning there are people that have it that don't show symptoms of having it. Idris said he had no symptoms. Um, from my, what I understand, Tom Hanks and his wife aren't having any symptoms. Donovan didn't have any symptoms. And Kevin Durant doesn't have any symptoms. So that's the scary part, guys. That's the really scary part. And I still want to let you, you guys know from what I'm reading that it's not a death sentence. You know, you can get over this. It's a strain of the flu. It's just a strain that we have not seen before. But it's not a death sentence. There are people who have had this and who have come out of it. So, you know, be be mindful of that and, and just, you know, take care of yourselves and do what is being asked of you to do. If you can stay at home, if you can stay away, do that. Okay, so I don't want to talk about the coronavirus this entire um, video. What I did want to talk about, and there's little, well, there's actually no sports being played right now, but there are big moves being made in that NFL, baby. So I woke up this morning, um, last night went to bed knowing that Tom Brady is no longer going to be a New England Patriot, and it looks like he's going to the um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. My youngest brother is a huge fan of the books, so he is extremely excited about this. Um, also, Dak Prescott has been franchise tagged by the Dallas Cowboys, which I'm so terribly disappointed about. I cannot believe they are paying everyone, literally everyone else on the Dak Gump team, but they won't give Dakota his money. Dakota is supposed to be the leader of your franchise. Dakota is actually the best poster boy for the franchise. And you go and pay Zeke Elliott. And I like Zeke. But you let Zeke hold out and punk you into paying him all this money. And he's the most unreliable, self-destructive teammate. Now, I know y'all hear my dog. 
he knows I'm filming. But he wants to come over here and roll this ball over here and breathe real hard so he can be a part of this video. I'm going to just keep talking. Anyway, so Dakota's franchise tag. He's going to be making way more money than he has been making in the previous four years. But I'm just so disappointed that they did not get this man's deal done. They haven't gotten his deal done. So there's Tom Brady. There's Dak Prescott. There's also Cam Newton, who's been throwing a monkey wrench. Uh, not a monkey wrench. I don't want to use that term. That's derogatory. Cam Newton, who has been thrown a curveball um, by the Carolina Panthers signing Teddy Bridgewater. Who knew? And then they tried to word it all funky as if Cam wanted to explore his options when he's saying he never asked for a trade. He never asked for any of that. So I thought that was kind of shady. Guys, keep in business. This is a business. The NFL is a huge money-making business. So it's hard not to get your feelings caught up in it if you're a player, I can imagine. But it is a business, and sometimes it can be shrewd. Also, the dumb dumb coach where I reside in Houston decided he wanted to trade his best receiver. So Deontay Hopkins is now a Carolina, not a Carolina, uh, um, an Arizona Cardinal. I know uh, Larry Fitzgerald couldn't be more excited. I know Tyler Murray can't be more excited. Um, I don't know what the heck Bill O'Brien is thinking, what he's smoking. He's gotten rid of Jadavion Clowney. Clowney went up to Seattle and clowned is what he did. Now he's gotten rid of DeAndre Hopkins. And from what I understand from the bomb that uh, Michael Irvin dropped this morning on first take is again, it's a personal preference or a personal issue that he has with this man, this man who has had no off the field issues that I know of, but yet he wanted to have a meeting with him and bring up Aaron Hernandez as if he was headed down that road. I would have been highly offended as well. I, I don't know what Bill O'Brien is thinking. I don't know what he's smoking, but you know, you get it how you live. Cause I do recall the owner, the late owner of the Texans being one, um, I want to say the one who likened the players of the NFL to the patients in a psych ward, something to that nature. It was very, 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 very off kilter, something that he had no business saying and he got roasted for it, which he should have with his old ass when he said it. But nevertheless, team has not been doing well since all of that and um i just don't understand where he's trying to go with this it wasn't like he got some great trade or a great player in return for trading him so i don't know what the heck he was thinking about um yeah i like the texans you know when they're not playing the cowboys you know they're not my team but I, I, I don't root against them. You know, I like to see them do well. But I, I'm scratching my head about that one. I don't know what he was thinking about. Also, Jameis Winston. Because it's projected that Tom Brady is going to be uh, a buccaneer. Where does that leave? Good old Mr. Jameson. Um, I don't know. I hope, to, I hope he doesn't end up like Freeman. You know, we didn't hear from Freeman after that one good year, pretty much. It was all downhill from there. So is he going to be relegated to a backup quarterback somewhere? Like, I don't know who would trade for him. Where can he go? He and Cam both. I know um, the Chargers need a quarterback. Um, Rivers has gone to the Colts. But I, I don't know where else those two fellas can land. So that's going to be.
be very interesting. That's what happened as of today. Tom Brady hasn't officially signed with the Bucks as of yet, I don't believe, but it's pretty much a done deal. Although it's very interesting that they've been projecting that and it hasn't been solidified yet. And it's also very interesting that nobody is taking, um, has taken um, the, the quarterback position yet for the Chargers. The Chargers haven't signed anybody. Also, Nick Foles, who just got to the Jaguars, is now a Chicago Bear. So it's been a lot going on in the world of NFL business, um, which is really the only thing that we've got going on because everything else is suspended. So, you know, it's getting really, really big pub because that's really the only thing that's going on in the world of sports. Anywho, so that's my Wednesday night spiel. And of course, no, I'm not humping again tonight. But that's all right and that's okay. Um, I'm sure it's going to be plenty of corona babies being born in the next nine to ten months. Um, so, whatever. Oh, speaking of babies being born, I have a new niece. I have a new niecey foo who was born on March 16th. Hey, Kayla, Kayla. Um, and I'll be home soon to meet my new niecey poo and to check on the rest of my people in Dallas. So you guys be good, be safe, stay quarantined if you can. Avoid as much contact as you can with people because what we do know is that you don't have to show symptoms in order to have it or to pass it. So guys, be careful, be mindful, be good.